Tick, tick, tock, it's beer o'clock, so what have you got to lose? Tick, tick, tock, it's beer o'clock with Slosh and Booze. Hi, this is Slosh. Buzz. Welcome back to Beer O'Clock with Slosh and Buzz for week two of our December run leading up to the live event at Liquor Barons. Liquor Barons. Night. Darts Night. World Championships of the World. There will be a link down below. As we said at the beginning of the last episode, we are really, really hoping for you guys out there to be involved in the Christmas episode. So send us a video of your face. Say your name, where you're from in the world. Just mm -hmm. say tick, tick, tock. It's beer o'clock. We're going to put together a montage of all yeah. of our viewers from all over the world. Give us a cheers in our, uh, and a tick, tick, tock, and we'll do, be, in be as creative as you want, or be as boring as you want. We don't, <laughs> we don't care. We're really kind of casual, but we just thought it'd be cool to get you guys involved. Yeah. I just thought it'd be better we do it at the beginning yeah. every time and then we remember. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, we should have talked about that off camera again. Remember, though, the darts night was two days ago, like technically, when this episode aired. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, the darts night was sick. Hope you guys had an awesome time. I don't know why I gave myself the finger then. But you'll get to see it soon. <laughs> anyway, the darts night's coming up at the end. If you uh, if you were there... <laughs> you know you're right. If you yeah. were there, yeah. leave a comment if it was good. Yeah. Because um, we don't even know if we're going to be any good. <laughs> Or if we're just going to go there. No, you're, you're really right. I think yeah. that we would already have missed it. Like, this is okay. kind of meta, actually, folks. It's a meta pause. It's post commenting. It's, it's so it's, we've already. It's pre event commenting. We've already post event done commenting our, on a pre event oh, timeline. Don't, don't do this. It'll get all complicated. Like Terminator. Can You, you, you haven't even said right. beer and stuff. Today, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, cats and kittens. We, <laughs> we have a beer. <laughs> Uh, is, uh, is that the brewery? Um, uh, red Light Robot. A red IPA. Leave on the red light. The robot's there in the red light zone. Um, this is a velvety dark... F this is velvety... Oh, look at the <laughs> colour of that shit. Hey, <laughs> hey, I had problems right. last week, so... Let's go, folks. Velvety dark red from a touch of black malt. This IPA is big and hoppy. We used four different US hops, added three different stages, added at three different stages. Citra and Centennial in the whirlpool together, while Columbus and Simcoe are dry hopping like mad. Pulling the shades hot, and the, pull the shades <laughs> and dim the lights, because this beer will have you rocking like red light. Robots. Do you think there's going to be robot hookers in the future? Maybe. This is 6.2%. Oh, fuck, it folks. is too. Uh, Stockade Brewing Co. Handcrafted in Australia. Where are they? They got a thing on there. 6.2%, uh, 330 mils. Uh, Stockade we Brew in New South Wales. We paid $5.50 for these at Liquor Barons in Bull Creek, where we were a couple of nights ago um, performing live and probably being terrified. Yeah. Hopefully it came off well. I mean, so if, if you see me two nights ago, come up and give me a tickle. If, if you see me two nights ago, come and give me a tickle. Do that. Yeah, yeah tickle me. If anyone tickles me right. two nights ago, I'm going to be confused and That's scared right. because this I don't know. the Stephen Hawking experiment of time travellers. We are inviting any time traveller to tickle me, to come up and tickle Tick us two nights ago at the Liquor Baron's Craft Beer yeah. and Darts Night. Okay? Fuck, I hope no one tickles me. I'll be so fucking... I will freak the fuck out. <laughs> two nights ago, I'll freak two out. Two nights ago. I won't even know... I don't know now if I freaked out two nights ago. That's right. Two nights Should ago... Should we talk about the beer? Nice head. Is. Thanks, man. You do give good head. My head wasn't as good as yours. Yeah. Look at that. It's quite thick. It's got a nice sort of burgundy tinge to it where the light hits it. Hey. Nice uh, picture. I really wish that my arms were longer, but I am quite short. Red it's IPA, tough. isn't it? Red... Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. I do like, like our South Park references. A B International Beauty Units. That's really, really good. Uh, Let's eject before enter of Oh, robot. yes. Um, while he drinks that, remember, there's a theme running through this. There's an idea, a sensation, a sport, an act, something you're involved in. It's a word. We've been told it's too easy. It's harder now. There's chocolate to win. Win the chocolate. Guess mm. the thing. This is really good. It's fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking good. Like the darkness it poured with, I was a bit worried. I thought I might be getting down towards that real sort of amber, sort of like real malty sort of 
heading towards the dark beer line, but this is, it's really dark burgundy after, colour, but after it the is summer, delicious, it's really light. After yeah. the summer one, you would expect this to feel heavier than yeah. it does. It, it's exactly. still light, and it's yep. just as smashable as that. Yeah, it's very smashable. I'm impressed, eh? It's very smashable. I had a discussion very light on the palate. with a few people at the, at the Freo Beer Fest about whether smashable was an accurate term. Yeah. And most people from Australia agree with me that smashable is a good term for how many beers you can drink easily. Yeah. I don't know if there's words from other countries, mm. but to us, smashable apparently is a, is, is a used term. It's not just something we say. Yeah. I, 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 did, I did an involuntary survey. Smashable Hello, brew. penis. Smashable brew. Oh, oh you that, bump your hair. Oh, you you bump your knob, penis. Oh, they're all coming. Come on, hop up. Oh, oh, dogs everywhere. Here. Anyway, oh, this love. beer is delicious. <laughs> it's Ooh. light, refreshing. You want the beer, penis? No, no beer for you. Um, um, the colour is amazing. The yeah, beer is delicious. Burgundy. Hey, it's not almost. It's not quite red. It's got that real burgundy. Just, it looks like a. Um, there's like almost, a port. It's almost, almost like a port no color. bitterness. I know. There's no lingering bitterness or... I usually find that there is a quite a bitter touch to the old red IPA, but this is... This is a good beer, man. Velvety dark red from a touch of black malt. It's big and hoppy. It's dead. The hop is... Yeah, the, the hop is the, there. The, 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 the hop flavour the is there, but there's no, there's no lingering bitterness um, that comes with, with some reds. Maybe it's the, um, the, the, the Citra and the Centennial that were in the Whirlpool together. That sounds hot as well. Mm. I wouldn't mind being um, in a... Cent well, actually, no, that'd be old people in a Centennial Whirlpool. <laughs> centennial Whirlpool. Like three... Then they eight, were taken eight, out and three. dry humped. Oh, my God! What <laughs> nursing home in hell are we at where old people are being put naked in a Whirlpool <laughs> and then dry humped? <laughs> Well, I guess if you... Citra and Centennial put in the Whirlpool together while Columbus and Simcoe are dry-humped like mad. Columbus? Dry-humped. He, I mean. he discovered America. Yeah. yeah it's not dry-humped. No, Columbus dry -humped. and Simcoe. Simcoe. <laughs> well, um, it's a simulation company. It's Cabin Boy? Simulation? It's Matrix. Runs the Matrix. Right, the, yeah. an, the Animus. Yeah, the Animatronics uh, Animus. Uh, Assassin's the, Creed. The Animus. <laughs> <laughs> the anal mass. Is perpendicular to the dongle of the of, of pi. <laughs> Getting into the quantum <laughs> atom anus level here. <laughs> Back to the beer. So anyway, this beer is fucking good. I'm gonna give this nine out of ten. That's that's one of the most amazing things that have happened for no reason. Oh my god, I feel so good right now. So anyway, there's some chocolate. For reference, I was talking about Assassin's Creed and the Animus. Yeah, I was playing that the other day. I bought yeah. it because you, re you recommended it. Yeah. Mm. Was it good? I played five minutes and then the kids came in and I stabbed someone and they were like, why does that guy got jam coming out of him? And I said, because I killed him. Mm. And he had family and they're all sad now and my kids were like, but what? If, what if, how are these kids going to survive? I said, they're going to starve to death. They can't afford bread. Mm, yeah. So can't his mum work? Well, his mum could work as a robot hooker. He has in the red he, light district. His gaming experiences differ from mine. No. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, it's pretty good, actually. I like it. <laughs> anyway, folks, this is... I'm a, trying to derail a, this as much as possible. As a red IPA, I would have to give this 10 out of 10. This is the nicest... Red IPA I've ever had. It is absolutely smashable. Percentage six point two, quite nice. So get you there without having to work now, for it. Now, I only just realised the expression on that robot's face and the mm. one on that. If you yeah. really look at that, I think he, I think he's missed and gone in the uh, wrong port. Yeah, he's put not put in the USB port. He's gone no. in the serial bus port. He has. He's stuck a USB in a serial bus. Yeah. I'll bring this over and show you. It's a dot That's matrix. It. That's right. Now she's just going. So, so she has been. She was trying to print something from her serial bus, but he definitely got it in the wrong port. Yeah, yeah we'll leave it at that. That's right. It's a really delicious beer. Ten out of ten on presentation. He's going for USB notes. three, but she only has USB two, and it's just a oh, bit too fast. Oh, no, no, he's USB three, so he went really quick, and she wasn't very happy. All oh, right. USB one, man. 
Male <laughs> robots are better. They're, they're more desired because they're rarer or because no one has them anymore. Sternals What's drive. going on? This beer is really... drive. This beer is really... Burr. Burr. This beer is really <laughs> nice. Dong. Nine, nine on flavour, ten on presentation because of the humping robots. Sexy robots, delicious red IPA. Red IPA, straight up, ten out of ten on flavour. I gotta give it ten out of ten on that robot, robot raping label. <laughs> <laughs> the rock and robot rape label. Rock and sock and robots. Rock and sock and rape. Rock and <laughs> Rock and rape from robots. I don't think we need to. I'm cutting this here. This is gonna get bad. The Christmas Stop. episode is the place for this. I'm calling. I'm calling. Alarm! 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 Fucking turn the robot off. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. This has been week two. Fire in subsection three. This has been week two of the December run. We will be back. Next Sunday with week three, there is a yep. theme running through this. Yep. It's an idea, a feeling, an action, a sport, yep. a, an interaction, a, yep. an abstract sense, uh, a, a uh, thing. It's a stuff. It's, it's a, a stuff. It's a stuff and a thing. And you can win chocolate if you get the stuff and the thing, one word. Chris, this is because of you. Yeah. You told us they were too easy. We're trying so, to make them harder. It's a stuff and a thing. You probably, uh, you probably already know. Yeah, he probably already knows. Probably already knows. If he already knows, and he told us two nights ago when he tickled us, yeah. I'm feeling this game. Fuck <laughs> that, man. <laughs> Holy shit. No, we gotta go, man. We gotta go. We're out, man. Um, I'll see you guys I'll next week. later. Yeah. Peace. It's like the Twilight Zone, actually. You know people died in that movie. <laughs>